There's a lot of layers here. Yeah, uh, I think so too. I, you know, the political attacks are getting pretty extreme. Uh, sexualizing children is mm -hmm. uh, grooming is quite an explosive phrase to use from one politician to another. Fuck you. Hello and welcome back. I'm Drone Tech. I don't know about all of you, but watching that really brings my piss to a boil. Because these are the very same people who use every monstrous label they can think of to smear and demonize their political opponents and critics. They have absolutely no problem calling us racist, white supremacist, sexist, homophobic, domestic enemy, or even public health threats. The Republican Party, Representative Swalwell, is harboring that insurgency. And it is a white nationalist insurgency. I watched a lot of the hearings yesterday. It was very painful to watch a lot yesterday afternoon. The way she was treated, I thought, was very difficult to watch. Yeah, I think the word attack is a fitting word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are engaged in a brazen, um, you know, sort of consolidation of white power. That is what this is all about. Not too long ago, our idea of the Republican fringe was a bunch of guys in tri-corner hats getting really angry about taxes and a black president. Well, this new fringe ate that fringe for breakfast and it's taken over the mainstream Republican Party. These are the same people who turned people into property. Uh Republican Party, you know, I used to joke that they were vanilla ISIS, right? They were like ISIS. They were like Al Qaeda in the sense that they um, radicalized online. We need to start having a serious conversation, not just about Donald Trump being a bad guy, but about the Republican Party becoming a radicalized anti-democratic institution. McConnell is immortal. He will be there forever. He's like a vampire. The GOP is a mix of white supremacy and fascism. The Republican Party is basically a domestic terrorist cell at this point, and they should be treated as such. You later said to CNN's uh, Dana B uh, Bash that you didn't think racism was involved in the questioning she received from some of your Republican colleagues, but she was repeatedly interrupted. Her credibility was questioned. The point was is, uh, I can't get into the heads of my colleagues, nor do I want to go down uh, that odyssey. I, you know, the political attacks are getting pretty extreme. Uh, sexualizing children is mm -hmm. uh, grooming is quite an explosive phrase to use from one politician to another. I mean, honestly, have you ever seen a segment like this that was in response to Democrats or the media calling their political opponents these things? Hell no. It's something I say endlessly on this channel, and it applies here. They simply think it's different when they're doing it. And their warped, twisted minds, when they're doing it, it's legitimate. And I want to go back to the beginning, which is the uh, laws restricting what teachers can do in the classroom. I've met a lot of teachers. They're in my family. I, they, I, I've done stories on teachers. Trust your teachers to do a good job yeah. in the classroom. They, they're professionals. They can get it done. And if you have an issue as a parent, you have a right to call your teacher. Yeah. You may handle it locally. Yes. You call, have a conversation. You don't need to call your politician. Call the teacher that's in front of your, your children. What? Trust the teachers? I mean, have you even seen some of these teachers? Teaching is political. The education system, the curriculum, school zoning, funding, standardized testing, all of these things can create and further lead to class and racial inequalities. Equity and anti-racism need to be in the forefronts of our minds. One, yes, I'm sitting in my car because my daughter's asleep. And yes, I'm using a beauty filter because it's been a long day educating the world's youth. I'm just so tired of seeing white women use audios on TikTok that are like clearly clearly given to us by the black community, by black content creators, and like no credit given, no recognition of like where this originated. Like the amount of clout that white women have gotten off the backs of black content creators is unreal. Imagine a world where Addison Rae could only use content made by white people. I got cornered by three of my sixth grade students at lunch today, and they came up to me all excited. They were like, Miss Collins, Miss Collins, what's your sexuality? I wear a mask to school. I wear a mask to school. Hi ho the Dario, I wear a mask to school. It helps to keep me safe. It helps to keep me safe. Hi ho the Dario, it helps to keep me safe. When we do class introductions, I have everyone include their pronouns and I talk about why it matters. And I always encourage students to ask questions if they don't quite understand, because I know to a lot of those students, I'm probably the first non-binary teacher they've ever had. I know the media doesn't want you seeing what these teachers have been putting out in public, but thanks to patriots like Libs of TikTok, we're seeing exactly who these teachers are. Oh yeah, you can clearly have a rational conversation with these Maoist revolutionary wannabes. The truth is, and I think we all know at this point, the left, the Democrats, the media, and big tech in general, 
general, don't want to seeing who these people really are and the insane shit they're posting online. I wonder what percentage of these people who are just clamoring to teach young children about made up genders and gay sex actually have children. I know there's data out there on this, but I couldn't find it myself. I've heard some other people reference it. If you've got it, please post it in the comments. Oh, and in case you're wondering who sponsored this CBS News propaganda piece, that's Crest and Progressive. Make sure not to spend your money on companies that hate you. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share and subscribe, and make sure to go check out Libs of TikTok on Twitter. I'll put the link in the description and pinned comment. <coughs>